file streams frame shot. With File Streams Frame Shop, you can create email or digital frame friendly versions of photos, load them faster, save space, and pack more into email or frame while at the same time allowing the photos to look pleasing to the eye. You can save the photos in a project folder for using them again and again. As a complement to email and digital frame project, FrameShop also provides features to easily view photos as a slideshow or using a 3D photo browser for presentation. To show photos on other computers, simply copy the folder to a USB device and carry it around with, without being concerned about another computer that may not have the program to show the photos. Launch the player from the USB device. Now you can show your photos in Slideshow or in Photo Browser with any PC. I'm going to show you how to create photos using FrameShop for my digital frame. The digital frame I have is 5 inches with 320 by 234 resolution and has 128 megabyte internal storage. The photos I'd like to display are from my trip to Bologna. The size of photos is 3072 by 2304 pixels. So each photo requires about 4 megabyte storage. If I don't resize those photos, the frame can only hold 32 of them. With resized photos, I can have 3200 photos in my digital frame. Let us start. First, launch the program. Click Export Photos icon. Choose Start a New Project and enter a task name. In this example, I enter Trip to Bologna. Click the Next button. I will set up the output requirements. Select the 320 by 234 resolution. Limit total size of photos to 128 megabyte. By setting up the limitation, FrameShop will give warning when exceeding the limit. Click the Next button. Now let me select photos for display. I can click the add button or I can drag and drop photos from Explorer. Let me drag photos into the frame shop. Click the next button. In this page I can set up the photo layout and style. Select best fit without cropping. This choice will not crop out any part of my photos. To control the display in the digital frame, each photo will have a resolution of 320 by 234. If the original photo is a portrait, then I need to specify the background color. Select the black background tab and choose the solid color. Click on the color box to select the black color for this project. Frame Shop is resizing photos. Some of the photos are underexposed. To correct them, I select the photos and click the Auto Level button. If the results are not what you expected, click the Recreate button to undo the changes. With additional Auto Sharpen, Contrast, and Smooth tools, I can fix a group of photos in a snap. FrameShop also comes with many individual photo fix tools, including the Red Eye and Color Cast removal tool. I can also change photos to black and white or make photos look old. Click the next button. In this page I can sequence my photos for display. I can simply drag the photo and drop it into the place I want it to be. FrameShop is not only providing step-by-step -step instructions but also has the ability to go back and make any changes I want. Click the next button. In this page I can specify the output folder. Now I connect my digital frame to the USB port of my PC and click on the browse button. Select the folder from the USB port. Click the export button to copy photos to the digital frame. This concludes the frame shop tutorial. You should now be ready to begin the process on your own.